What's up, everybody? This is DJ Lionhead. And who we have over there? Your boy, Drippoline, man. Drippoline. And we got a guest in the building tonight. We got a guest in the building tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell yeah, what so your name is. Let me tell, tell, what tell your name. Flowers. So this man has been a rapper for quite a bit. I've been looking at his songs online. I don't know if you know, this brother got hella songs. I mean, hella songs. He has been working with so many people in Sacramento. He is definitely a factor on the stage. Has performed all over Northern California and even left California to perform. He's worked with one of the great, legendary producers and uh, videographers like Emo. You know what I mean? He's, a, he's worked with some of the people we had, you know, previously on the podcast. Like Pac 17, Mr. G, and so many more. The one, the only, wise. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What it do, man? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? I'm blessed, man. Finally made it. Finally, finally made it. We finally got him, y'all. We finally got the wise man on the pod. Man, yes. yes, you do. First of all, let me give God all his. Second of all, let me give you your flowers, man. What? Come on now. You've been. If nobody performed at your show, how are you going to be seen? <laughs> Come on now, man. Your shows are off the chain. You know it. Stop playing, man. I love appreciate it. it. I love every time performing for you, man. I appreciate it. Man, uh, I love your energy because out of all the rappers that I had or singers or whatever I had, I never hear any complaints from you. You know, why you ain't got to Why come? You know, why come? I, you know, this man is like, you know, he knows what he knows what the assignment is. If he has questions, he would ask before the show, and he would just be ready when he when I get when he gets there. So I love I love the way he handles his business. So uh, I oh, appreciate that, man, for real. Let's go ahead and start this thing off, man. Let's go. Let's go. When did you start rapping, man? Ooh, man, 80s, 90s, <laughs> 80s, <laughs> got serious about it though, like, ooh, at least, at least 15 years ago, Okay, at okay. least like real serious, like, you know, I was just bubblegum rapping as they say, but, yeah, hey man, I was freestyling off the radio, off cassette, so going from there, yeah, so what was the first track that you dropped when you got serious? That's a good question. Wow. You got serious. Ooh. Man, on candy. Sack versus 916. What's beef? Uh I was, you know, from the, you know, the gang, the gang era. Okay. So, you know, my music was like crazy. So, you know, I, I didn't have no care about nobody. <laughs> but uh that's why I became the wise man. But yeah, man. Uh I would say on candy or you know, something like that, uh, Sack versus 916, what's beef? Yeah, that's, I got serious with that. What inspired you to get started with music? Pain. Huh. Struggle. Ghetto. Just, I seen music made people have fun. Yeah. Made people laugh, dance, party. No matter what you had, you was doing that. So, I would say just pain, music. Just to make me go Just to, just like forget about all that Music was just like my outlet Who was the artist That brung it out of you though Like who mm. you feel like was like that, that artist that made you Pick up the pen Believe it or not Believe it or not man Um, My favorite artist Believe it or not group is Run DMC Curtis Blow Oh, okay. So they're my favorite But what made me like really go hard was Bushwick Bill yeah Bushwick Bill made me like so I was short of course so you know I'm like little in this world full of giants so I was like man this guy is a beast and he busts he, he can rap yeah and you know Bushwick Bill was my my, my rest in peace you know yeah saying? rest in peace Bushwick that Bill. was my made me want to like really get down to it but like I said Run DMC Curtis Blow Fat Boys All In that was my inspiration to just to, to rhyme yeah uh, that's cool. That's hella cool. That's definitely 
uh, pick someone to pick people who definitely can rap. So, um, let's listen to some music, man. Uh, if there was a person <laughs> who basically don't know who the wise man is, and they about to see your show, right? You want to go see the wise man? I want to see what his show is about. What's that one first song that set it off? How, you, how would you set it off if the show was right now? Yeah, who, who, what song you would say gonna put them on you? Uh, I have a little intro called Round One. That's just like, because I was signed to label, a label before. So when I got independent, it's like everything was on me. Oh, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. So, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. So Round One was like, okay, it's on now. <laughs> it's on now. Let's hear that. I arranged that Blue rose petals on the bed Yeah, I did that And she looked me in my eye and said, you is that Unforgettable, undeniable, I need that In my life, no matter what the consequence We made it through the tough obstacles We got this It was meant to be destiny Or maybe me testing me I'm in my head constantly Past, present, so obviously It's not you, it's me I'm working on that as we speak Let's keep this good energy I just want you to feel comfortable when you're around me Tell me how you feel when we messing up them sheets You kiss me from my head to my feet Vice versa, you a freak And a sin until proven guilty The smirk on your face, the shift on your waist Asking me to taste, I'ma keep it there I just wanna say I know I know That you don't trust me like before But I just want you comfortable Comfortable When you're in my arms Yes Yes why you, why you pulling away? Come here I'm holding you tight Don't wanna let you go nowhere You kiss me on my neck I kiss you on your forehead Oh yeah The smile got bigger The hug got tighter So we pulled an all-nighter Breakfast in bed And I ain't talking bacon and eggs You wanna kill boss So I serve you something proper I know you're mad inside Let your heart speak for itself Action speaks louder I just hope you're listening What else can I do To receive your forgiveness? Any other time I'll be out No questions I'm thinking your vibe That face, them thighs The way you turn around And look me in my eyes I'm surprised you still by my side, hard to understand But my plan is to earn that trust again I'm only human, I think Or maybe I'm not Just let me get this off my chest one time I know That you, but you don't, don't trust me like you baby But I just want I you to come to take a Okay, 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 okay. That was fire, bro. I like that. I like that a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, I wanted to ask you a question. Since you make a lot of music and things of that nature, uh, do you have a hard time writing songs? Oh, yeah. Definitely have a hard time, man. It's. That's the hardest thing. Well, let me ask you. They this. say it's easy, but nah, I don't. I don't want to write no bullshit. Right. Then let me ask you this thing: What is the wise man's cure for writer's block? Wise man's cure. I listen to country. I listen to uh, rock and roll. I don't listen to none of my music at all. Hmm. At all. I'm okay. Like, But I start when I when I get out of that block. Uh-huh. I listen to my music. Yeah. Make sure I don't write the same thing over and over. Again. Good point. Or even try to piece out what I used to write. I had to like literally. That's why I got in that block. I felt myself saying this already in a verse. Uh uh-huh. But when I got in that block, I'm like, let me not listen to my music no more. Let me go experience. Me and my woman, we went like we went traveling. Two months straight here and there we we seen our house probably two or three times in two months we were just trapped 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 i just forgot about everything that was going on then when i came back I wrote my way 
six or seven songs and start writing hella songs. So I wrote a, I wrote the rest of my album. I wrote an EP. I wrote another EP that I put out. I just I got a, I just got a lot of stuff like just wait. So to get out of that block, country music, travel, don't listen to my music. Huh? So let me ask you this thing. What's the longest time you ever took? How long was the longest time it took you to write a song? Really wanted to finish right. Longest time it took you. Three months. Ooh, yeah, that makes sense. Let me tell you this why though. This is I got a song coming out June twentieth. Um, for my mom. Okay. Rest in, Rest in peace. Um, I wrote a verse one month. I wrote the second verse the next month. In the third verse, third month, third month was the day she, I mean, she she decided to go see her mom. So that was like I, I made that deadline the day she passed for me to finish that song, writing it, I recording it, writing. It. So when I got to the to the to the booth to do it, it one take, one take or everything Man. from this, 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 and this. This, 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 and this. Ad lib. This, this, this. I couldn't even finish it. Got emotional crying through it. Still recorded it all. Still. So, three months. Three months. You got a title for that? Dear, Mom, Dear Judy. Dear Judy. You look out for that song, Dear Judy. Coming out soon. Got shirt on right. Dear Judy, look at that. See what I'm saying? All the time. Yeah. But yeah, man. Be low. That was That was a weird question. And a weird answer. So it took me there. But I love that answer. Yeah. Because that's the, that's the truth, man. Three months. Um, yeah, three months. That's the song. Only song got all the other songs. Three months. We all. I never got time. asked that question. That's why that threw me off. Yeah. You know, we all have songs we work on that sometimes we want to get right. We can't all do it in 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You want to get it right. It takes a little time. Got a question you want to ask him? Uh, hit him with one more. I, I, I got one coming. Okay, right. okay, okay. Yeah, I'm cooking. Up. I'm cooking. It's yeah, in the oven yeah, right I'm now. Cooking, yeah, like that up, yeah, yeah, that yeah, question. Yeah, let me going, get it going. Huh? <laughs> okay, so. You mind playing the game? I'm with that game, man. Go. Yeah. Oh, shit. So we got this game called Dream Collab, Wild Collab, okay? So what it is, is basically your next song that you drop, say the one that, on June 20, right? You drop that, and it does way bigger than you expect. Way, way, no, we're not talking California numbers. We're talking about people in Japan and Russia, you know, in other countries, making versions of that song, you know, dancing, with, you know, wearing your Judy t-shirt going crazy to the point where uh you know the big man bro he can really rap he got a dope song i need to do a song with him so these big name people i'll holla at you you know basically collab with you you know these are almost like you know drum up their uh popularity because you're the most popular brother right now so the first email, this is your dream collaboration. The first email, you get, get, get an email from an artist. He tells you, hey, wise man, I heard, I heard your song. You know, the whole world is playing it right now. You know, I really want to work with you. This is Tech Nine. It's good. And then you get a second. Now remember, whatever artist you go with, the other one's going to be like, man, forget wise man. I ain't gonna you know what I mean? But choose. Get that second. Hey, hey, wise man, I want to work with you, man. It's going to be real cool. We can make it Yo. Money bag, yo. Uh, oh, shit. Who is the wise man choosing? Which email you answer? Tech 9. Tech 9, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's he going to mess with Tech 9. When it comes to that dream collaboration, so let's put it in the manifestation. 
the next song he put out, you know what I mean, he gets that much attention. And Tech Nine wanna holler at Money Back Young, like Prime Mess Money Back, you know. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. So now we go to the wild collaboration. Now of course these are people you don't expect. They wanna holler at you because they they trying to they trying to drum off your popularity. You're the man right now. So they trying to come back and kind of or be on the scene because you on the scene. You know what I mean? So that first email, of course, like, hey man, I ain't been on the scene for a minute. But uh I'm trying to get back. You know, uh I was hot early in my life, but, you know, <laughs> not really that hot now. It's Turk from the hop. You like did expect it, I know. So that was your first one. The second one was gonna hit you up. And I've, I've been hot. It's just I'm not hot right now. But I can get back, back on the scene a little bit better. Get a song together, wise man. This artist is Gunner. Which one are you choosing? Her? Or do a song with Gunner? Who? They can't hear you. Dirt. <laughs> hey. Hey. So who? Why would you choose Turk from that era? Get it? I get it. That makes sense. I know the. I know the grind. I know the uh, behind the scenes, man. The third party. But you know, you the one that's making all this pop, but nobody wants you to. It's your your shine yeah yeah but, yeah uh, i always think he's been underrated yeah but uh yeah definitely turn he said definitely okay okay but that man i said we're gonna put that into manifestation also you know when he go when he gets big out of nowhere turk gonna be like let me do a single with you bro and we're gonna make sure that happens right you gonna make sure that put that in manifestation so if it happens here in real life where'd you hear it from here at the Support Your Boy Podcast. Dig that. <laughs> we jinx that shit. Yeah, yeah. So, what was the first label that you signed to, and how did the opportunity present itself? Uh, Dirty Royalty was the uh, label I signed to, uh, Money T. Money T, shout out Money T. Yeah, so that was uh I mean I was I was already doing music. I was the silks and everything and the emos, that's how I met emo and everybody and uh Money T and uh, through Big Man. So basically it was I was doing the little shows and then uh Money T like, you know, saw it saw it in me. So uh she put me on board and uh just went from there, man. It was a lot of learning, it was a lot of uh growing a lot of trying to learn learn how to write learn how to you know present my music the way i needed to present it because i was wild with it i was yeah like i said but um she kind of structured me to you know to do it the right way some kind of way whichever way that was but i mean you only can say so much you gotta get out there and do it yeah yeah so i was the type of person that was like i'm gonna do a show here do a show here i don't care when i was what time I was getting on, I just wanted to get on the stage because that was like a, it was like a bucket list thing. You got to get off your chest because if you want to be a rapper or anything like that, you got to perform. Yeah. So I kind of like made that my main thing, man. So when I did that, got attraction of everybody. So she, she snatched me up. Just like took me down that road. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Thirty Royalty was Money T was that. That was my first little independent label from there. So, how many labels were you actually signed to in your career? Just one. Just one. You know, yeah, it was just one. Huh? Yeah, I was with other labels, but we was like, we wasn't no paperwork. It was just, I'm going to rock with you. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? I was with Big Man. You know, I wasn't, we did music together. I wasn't signed to nothing, but. Shout out Big Man. We should, oh, yeah, definitely. You want to put me on. Definitely shout out to Big Man. Um. Man, there's so many I wanted to though, but I had the opportunities to. But my biggest one I could have got was, you know, DTP, but that was close. But 
still working on that. Still working on that. I still got a lot of uh, a lot of people that's just trying to snatch me, but I don't want that. I'm, you know, I'm already got my own label now, but there you go. it's like I don't think I really want to. I do, but I don't. A lot of people are like, nah, man, don't sign to a label. Think they gonna do you? I'm like. Just want to do it one time for the one time. I ain't gotta. I ain't gotta <laughs> stay with them for life. You know what I mean, type of thing. So, yeah, that dirty royalty. That was my first round, man. And after that, it was no more. I mean, no more. I wasn't. I don't think I was searching for more labor. I would just start just doing music. Okay. So that brings this question: as an artist that was signed to a label and now being independent, why do you feel it's more beneficial being an independent? An official part, you know, that, that's a I mean, got to see the numbers, but um, I got faith, man. I got so much faith, man. It's like I jumped out on a limb. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I figure, like, I'm gonna run with it. I see that it's it's there. It's yeah. there. You just gotta you just gotta stick to it, man. And uh, I believe in myself, man. Uh, emo picked me up. You know what I'm saying? Out of out of my little slump. You know what I'm saying? Because I after i left the label so i was like get everything so you know i went independent but i was going crazy with it like back crazy with it. i could do this i was doing all kind of music yeah, like, who, yeah. what, what kind of rap are you doing what is you i mean like what what error what i'm like i don't know just make hella songs and then we'll just separate them as we go so i i was confusing myself making so much making so much but I just think independent is the way and then when you get it man you just gotta just keep going i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm, I'm not gonna look back no more that's all keep the faith okay. yeah i'm gonna keep doing it i got a question Hit me. okay so like i said <laughs> i see you, you feel, performing it all right you're a brother who actually performed out of state you know what i mean your lady comes supports you you know what i mean we all the time yeah so and I know you go through this because you're a rapper out of state. I know you've seen some lady look at you a little too long, you know, on stage. Do you have a story where you had to check? She was being a little too wild. <laughs> nah, man. Nah. Not yet, huh, baby? Nah. Nah, man. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm waiting for that moment. Shit. I'm, hell yeah. I wish just about 50,000 of them doing that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, nah, not just one. Or two. I need fifty thousand plus to do that. <laughs> right. I'm just no one or two. Nah, I'm not. No, you know, at that, that point, you coming off the stage, one will come to you. Ah, doing all that. I you hit him with the stiff arm. I, you know what I, I mean? ain't had my Michael Jackson moment yet. You know what I'm saying? But now, but uh, nah, man. <laughs> they not passing out on me just yet, man. Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, I can just but, imagine that. Oh my God, wise man. <laughs> nah, not yet, man. Yeah, she's that's the number one. There you go. There you she go. gonna be that one. I'm at the stiff one. Hey, right there you middle. go. Huh? But yeah, Get him with nah, that I haven't had that yet, man. But uh, it won't that happen. Coming. It won't happen because she gonna knock them out before they even get close. <laughs> so, she's I got a career to get to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she know I bail her out that same day, so we good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Nah, not yet, though, man. Not yet. Let's hear another song. What, what song you want to go have? Right, let's yeah. do something special. It's still yeah. slow. We still slowing it down. Yeah. Don't keep it slow, man. This is uh yeah, something special, man. Something special. Okay, this song's called Something Special by the one and only Ice Man. Check it out, y'all. Yeah, check it out. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm about to say that ain't the intro. God, he got his little sounds he be doing. Hey, Shout out to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Shall we, mate? Let me say it right. Support your boy. Yeah. Support your boy. Yeah. 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 Close your eyes, baby, listen to the 
listen to the music Feel the vibration as you getting closer to me Biting on your lip while I'm rubbing on your body You creaming already and we ain't even started You sipping on red wine, I'm trying to read your mind You looking at me out the corner of your eye I know you kinda shy, tonight you letting loose I know you think this here is something special too You the perfect hike, perfect hug, soft kiss I can think of only one word, Maculin Know how to treat a man, gon' king me Love it when you speak a different language Back it up the way I like it, I mean beep beep Have me acting like a child again, ee ee Yes, tongue game, have you sprung I'm something special, girl, come and get some Dig it, ouch Yeah, man Check it Something out. You check the bar where the brother said. This nigga said, do that one move. Turn your phone on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that one move. You have Something to use special. your phone. <laughs> oh, for real. Something special. That was nice. I like that. So, as a rapper, what made you start doing R&B? Uh, I was raised by all women grandmother auntie no. cousin so i was already in tune into you know the feminine side they say but aunties was gangsters so it was like i was i had both sides of the you know, fence so but yeah that's that's my main influence is my, my aunties my grandmother you know my mom too but you know she came in a picture later but uh yeah yeah my auntie okay women basically yeah yeah good okay so i got another game for you so one of my new games oh shit it's a good one let's go this one is called what will be worse okay what will be worse what, what will, will be, be worse? worse so you have two situations that happen to you due to your next song right what situation will be worse for the wife if it actually happens okay what would be the worst? Which one? Which situation would be the worst to you out of the two? No, I'll go ahead and explain. So I'm going to give you this information that you think is going to happen to you. It's going to happen to you in the future. What do you consider the worst out of the two situations I'm about to tell you? Okay, so next song is doing real good. Um, it goes big just like we mentioned before. But you get picked up by a label that you didn't expect. You had no idea. Bad boy want to shine. And you're like, what? Bad boy want to shine? The wise man? And they say, yes. Diddy says, yes, he wants to shine. Right? But, have a situation. I need you to not be wise. We have another artist we're trying to bring up. I need you to ghost right for him, bro. You got the bar. So, but he don't have to know you. Good on a mic. You are, so I need you to write for me. From a single contract, three to five years, uh, signing contract is one million dollars, and then five hundred thousand if he hits platinum for each any single that goes each song that goes platinum within three to five years. But you cannot go online as the wise man for those three to five years. Not a show, not a song, not a goddamn freestyle. If you say anything as being wise man for the next three or five years, 
contract voided, I want my million back. That's the situation. Number one. Uh, wow. Or number two. You release your, you release your music, right? And everything's going great. And you're like, oh man, this is dope. Everybody's enjoying your song. And then you get all these comments on Instagram, getting how dope you are, right? And 21 Savage says, you gotta step the bars up, bro. Which, or should I say, what would be worth? That deal, being a ghostwriter for the next three to five years, in the wise man persona for that three to five years, for your next song, 21 Savage tells you, step your bars up. Me, Dripling, see it, Emo, see everybody. So you saying what would be worse? What would be worse? That bad boy thing. <laughs> so basically you saying 21 can say whatever he wants. That bad boy did. Yeah, you get a million, but you have to end your career for the next three to five. But I'm going away. <laughs> 21, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> come on. Got a question? Huh? I'm not throwing you off on I that like one. That. I you like that. I like that game. You like that one? I like that game. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Because it can happen. You can get famous, and one of those two things can happen. You get famous talking back and forth with 21, too, about it, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can. That's, that's a for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can make this song go back and forth with that part. Yeah, that's security for hey, that. Hey, watch this though. Which one is worse for you? For me, DJ as a DJ? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, let's say situation I get, uh, what, put on a contract or. You want the same shit you just said. Okay. So, the same exact situation. Which okay, one works so for I'm you? Just basically. Oh, he didn't like my yeah, shit. Disrespecting your beast, say you you a whack producer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's saying old fruity loose stale ass. <laughs> like disrespecting <laughs> your shit. <laughs> you. Which one works, works to you? Yeah. Um, that deal. Even though a million dollars would be nice, but if I don't reach, you know, that that I'm DJing so I'm in event, like for example, and they don't do as that good, and they want that million back. Hell yeah. That deal would be worse. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> yeah, I was like, go, yeah, right. You got to go platinum every, every time. Yeah, that's, that's right. So basically, you get that one million, but then moving forward for the next three to five, if they don't go platinum, you, you can keep the million. But if you show yourself as a wise man on that third year, for my money, that's crazy. Any kind of show you do. That's, what about money? It's hard not to. Right. You're basically you. giving up your whole persona. But you're a ghostwriter now. You're not a rapper. Just ghostwrite team. Right. Rhyming. And then if you don't go platinum, it's a problem. No, it's basically the question is you yeah. can go platinum, but you ain't getting paid for the next few to five years if you don't go platinum. So you just oh, basically sit on that one million. So you get that one million, right? You get that one million dollars, but you can keep that, but you can't be drift for the next three to five. You try to be on a, go on a show, bust a rhyme, somebody film it, it hits online, where's my million? Basically, just got to... You got to tuck off. Disappear off. And you, you, you quarantine. Yeah, for the three yeah, to five yeah there you go. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Quarantine your career with five years. There you go. I'll let, I'll let 21 I, Savage say you ain't like, I'm going to be hunted. I think... The 21 Savage, for me, I think him talking shit about me. Your bars, so you ain't got it's bars, bro. My bars, I think that's worse. Because with an M, like, just ghost right, I'm still, the thing is, I'm still perfecting my pen. I'm still going crazy, but I'm just, it's like I'm in jail, but I'm not. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm a ghost for five years. But are you only ghost writing just for that one person? Yeah. Yeah. Or the whole bad boy. So no, you, they're, just bringing, they're bringing this new artist out. Oh, like, just uh, one dude? Just one dude. And is he like, like, okay, so is it like a situation where he like the focus? Or like, what's... Yeah, like, he's a pretty boy. They trying to make it sound like he got a rapper. <laughs> oh, so they trying to make him the forefront. Like, yeah. So oh, he ain't got no bar. 
to be hunted. That's like that's that's fire. You think so? I think that's no. fire. You ain't been seeing the headlines about Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> I have it, bro. I'm thinking. <laughs> I want to see the headlines about yeah. this, Okay, I see why you, I, I see why that is. They signing contracts with a, uh, selfies, with videos. Uh-huh. Oh. They contracts like that. And, oh. Nah, I'm good, I, bad boy. Ah. Okay, again, send us off with a song that, you know what I mean, say so, like your last song of your performance on the show. What song do you usually end the show with when you perform? But, uh, we can go with, uh, Take Me Out tonight. Take me out tonight. Shout out to Emo. My bad. Hold on. Let me get a refix that real quick. Listen yeah. over here. Yeah, that mic is hot. Back fire. Fuego. Yeah, exactly. Wait, say something. Mike. Oh, yeah. Here we here. Yo, yo. Better? Yo, yo. Yeah. Oh, here's that. Go ahead, Drip. Yo, 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 huh? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, we good. Good? Oh, no, hold on. Uh, uh, hey. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, come, yeah, on, come on now. Chance. There we go, there we go. Good, we good, good? we good. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, we back. Okay, we good. Right hour. Don't worry about that, Facebook. Um, This part will be edited out when you go to YouTube. And mentioning YouTube... Please go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. Any of you guys who watch the Support Your Boy podcast, we're trying to build this thing bigger up to the point where we can do big things, get big buildings, do things, you know, even possibly doing shows with Drippoline, hosting, possibly, you know, move around, get this thing going for a sec. You know what I mean? So show us a little love on YouTube. Support Cha, C-H-A, boy, B-O-I, Podcast, support your boy podcast. You know, subscribe to us. Um, as we had this song, as we listen to the song here, what is it called again? Take me out, right? Take me out tonight. Take me out tonight. Tonight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not good next week. All right. Not tomorrow. Night. Wrote this song through the COVID because we couldn't go nowhere. Man, that's a good. So, that's a good reason. It was beautiful actually going outside with nobody else, like like no cars. Way it was just it was empty. really like that. It was really like that. Yeah, it was empty. It was a ghost town. It was over. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, like that. These brothers finding <laughs> the beauty in the pandemic. <laughs> oh yeah, the party song. No, y'all. You know what I'm saying this is basically a woman telling you she tried to trying to get out. Take me out. Yeah, take me out tonight by so the wise go. man. Oh yeah. All his songs that you hearing tonight. They are on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, whatever streaming platform you use, you can look up the wise man. Yeah. Check exactly. it out, y'all. Tied up, but not the way you like it. I'm trying to step out and two step on them one time. You show them that quick bottle shake with them big thighs. It's been a rough year, so it's time to let loose. You on that great goose mixed with the pineapple juice. I'm on that NEC straight, see, I ain't playing with them. A little sea walk in it and a dab with it. See, I'm independent, so I do my own move. Letting loose tonight, you know I'm old school. I move to the left, then I swing to the right. Limited to the certain moves, but I'm here all night. Doing my thing, cause I'm cool as I wanna be. She freaking all on me, telling me it's yours. Eugene, showing me a few things I ain't never seen. I'ma show her a few things she can't believe. What's on your mind?